Determining the pH of a liquid. Gather the following equipment. A pH meter, small plastic beakers, pH buffer solutions, a 1 liter DI water bottle, a 250 ml waste container or beaker, and a supply of Kimi wipes. The pH meter is used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of a liquid through a probe by reading the reactivity of the hydrogen ions. The 7GO SG2 pH meter allows you to perform 1, 2, and 3 point calibrations. To calibrate the meter, obtain two or three pH buffer standards. When performing a two buffer calibration, it should be buffer solutions of pH 4 and of pH 7. A three buffer calibration will also use a pH 10 buffer. Any solutions dispensed into another container should be clearly marked and dated for the date dispensed. To perform a two-point pH meter calibration, power on the meter. Rinse the electrode with deionized water and blot dry with a Kimi wipe. Place the electrode in a calibration buffer solution and press the CAL or CAL button. After the reading is stabilized, it will show a percentage value of slope. Rinse the electrode in deionized water and place the electrode in the next calibration buffer solution, pressing the CAL button again. The SG2 self calibrates after the signal from the probe is stabilized or after pressing the read button. The meter displays and freezes the relevant buffer value and updates the calibration adjustment on the display. To accept the calibration and return to sample measurement, press the read button. To perform a three-point calibration, perform the same steps as the two-point calibration and repeat steps three and four for the third calibration point. This electrode contains a temperature sensor and autocorrects for temperature variation. However, calibration buffers and liquid samples should fall between 20 and 25 degrees centigrade for the most accurate results. Now let's take a look at pH sample measurements. Rinse the electrode with DI water prior to placing it into the sample. Place the electrode in the sample and press the read button to start the measurement. The decimal point will begin to blink. The display will begin to show the pH of the sample. The automatic endpoint A is the default setting of the meter. When the signal is stabilized, the display freezes and an angle appears over the A. The stability criterion for the pH and millivolt measurements will appear when the signal inputs have not changed by more than 0.1 millivolts in a 5 second period. Continue to quote read the sample after stabilization until the pH no longer varies by a value of more than plus or minus 0.01. The 7 go meters do not require any maintenance other than a wipe with a damp cloth and an occasional battery replacement. The two halves of the unit should never be disassembled. Electrode maintenance. Always make sure the electrode is stored in an appropriate storage solution and never allow the electrode to dry out. For maximum accuracy, any filling solution that has encrusted the outside of the electrode should be removed with DI water. If the electrode slope falls rapidly or if the response is sluggish, the following procedures may help. If the sensor membrane is dried out, soak the tip of the electrode overnight in a 0.1 hydrochloric acid solution. After any electrode treatment, a new calibration should be performed. Please note, cleaning and filling solutions should be handled with the same care that is given to toxic or corrosive substances. The 7 go pH meter continuously measures electrode condition. A bar indicator on the upper right of the meter display screen shows the current electrode condition. When the graphic displays three bars, the unit is in good condition. At two bars, the electrode is in need of cleaning, and one bar indicates the electrode is faulty and in need of replacement. pH buffer disposal 
pH buffer solutions that have been dispensed into containers for calibration should be dated when dispensed. Dispensed pH buffer solution should be replaced weekly with fresh solution. Expired pH buffer solution should be neutralized prior to disposal. A pH of 7 is considered neutral. To learn more about the Vineyard and Winery Technology Program offered at Yakima Valley Community College, visit us online at www.yvcc.edu slash wine. This material is based upon work supported by the National Science Foundation under grant number 1003721. Any opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this material are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation.